I know my hair is looking crazy, I know, I know, but my hair is not about to look crazy very soon because Sterly Hair provided me with this amazing V-part wig to show you guys. So I'm just taking it out the bag. They gave me some goodies also, a wig cap with some lashes and a band to make it tighter at the back if I needed to. And this is the wig right here, you guys, at 28 inches. So we're gonna try to blend that out with my short hair. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm taking it out the bag to show you guys how exactly it looks right out of the bag. And um, there's the protective mesh that's over it. And as you can see what I'm seeing, oh I love when I look at a wig and it's so nice and bouncy and curly like this. So this is how it looks. This is the front of it. Of course, we're going to cut that out so that we can leave the leave out in the front. And I'm showing you guys inside. You guys can see the clips. Um, there's that tag that says girly on it. There's clips on the side to secure it. There's one at the bottom. And there's also clips at the top. And this is the really crucial part. This is where it's going to hook onto the hair so that, you know, it doesn't fall off. And I cut the, I cut the front part. And now I'm not installing it yet. I j I'm just seeing, like I'm trying to measure how much leave out I need to leave. So I encourage you guys to do this so before you, you know, make braids or anything for you to actually clip on to the hair because then you'll know exactly how much leave out you need. And now I'm just going to part it nicely and prep it for the installation. And now that I've done that, I'm going to unclip all the clips to prep it to go on my head. So I usually go with the first clip in the front first. And as you can see like this, and this will ensure that I put it at the right spot. And then I clip it down to my head and then I do the second one. And then as you'll see, then I go to the other side and do the same exact thing. And now that I finished that part, I'm putting all the hair to the front and I'm just adjusting my own hair to see how I'm going to blend it out. You guys, honestly, it does look like it's impossible to blend, but with the right flat iron, you'll be fine. <laughs> now I'm taking my Garnier, my Garnier Nutri sorry, um, hair serum for frizz and I'm going to put that on my actual hair so that it protects it from the heat. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up. I wish I could make you stop. And after I combed it nicely, I'm going to now take my flat iron and put it on my hair. So I'm not trying to do this too much because it's a lot of heat being applied to my hair. Not that I really mind, to be honest, but um, you know, we're trying to avoid any damage. So I'm not putting it straight 
because you know the hair is wavy but at the same time I'm trying to analyze how I need to you know straighten the hair for it to blend in properly can see there's a clear difference between this side and that side this side looks really really good I'm really satisfied with it and now it's time to do the other side And if you need to go on it more than once, like if you need to put that iron more than once, uh, that's completely fine. Just make sure you have a really good heat protectant. This is basically the final result you guys. Uh, I really love it. I However, kind of want the hair to blend in even more So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a layers um, And you probably see me talking to someone as I do these reviews for you guys. I am with my kids <laughs> Which is why I kind of have to do voiceovers now because I want you guys to really hear me and not the chaos in the background so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my um, eyebrow scraper and I'm going to make layers. So I don't want to cut too much of it because the hair is just so beautiful. But yeah, I'm just going to make a little bit of layers just so that the hair can blend in more. And yeah, these are the results. I am feeling myself. I'm doing the duck lips and everything already. <laughs> How do you guys like it? I personally love it. I think that, honestly, U-part wigs are perfect for people who don't want to commit to, you know, gluing their hair and everything like that. So this is the best alternative if you still want to do a leave out with the option of, you know, taking out your hair at night if you want to. This is just perfect. It's just a throw on and go. And now, uh, this is completely optional, but I decided to do a little bit of baby hairs. And I'm going to use my mousse and my edge brush. And I'm just going to make a little bit of baby hair. Well, attempt to. <laughs> Alright guys, and this is ultimately my final results. I'm going to get up so that you can see the length of the hair. Um, yeah, this is the 28 inches U-part wig and I love it. Sorry, the V-part wig. <laughs> and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it does not shed. I tried to, I did the shedding test and it does not shed. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend this hair. 
I recommend this again for anyone who doesn't really want to do like the whole lace front wig thing but still wants length to their hair. This is a perfect thing for you to leave out your own hair and everything. So again, shout out to Sterly Hair for sponsoring this video. I'm loving this hair and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time. Bye.